Hey what's going on guys my name is Marfa Mim and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to create magic card effect using Elementor. So in normal state we can see the cards with borders but when we hover over on it we can see the beautiful magic card effect. In this video I'm gonna show you how to create this magic card effect using Elementor. So without further ado let's go inside Elementor page builder. First take a section by clicking on this plus icon, select this three column structure. Let's give it a height to minimum height and VH to 100. Now we're gonna give it a background color, go to style tab, then from background type, click on this color picker. Let's take color has 080A17. Now inside the middle column, let's take an inner section, drag it here. We can see here two column, delete one from here. Now we have only one column inside this inner section. Now make sure you have to choose the very outer column and we're gonna give it some padding. From under advanced tab, let's give here 20 pixel of padding. Okay, now let's select the inner section, give it a minimum height, 400 pixel is fine, then vertical alignment to middle. After that go to style tab, from here background type, then go to color picker. Let's give it the same background color as 080A17. After that, go to advanced tab, we're gonna give padding to 10 pixel. Let's go to style tab because I wanna add some border with it. Open the border, border type to solid, now border width to 2 pixel. After that, from here, color picker, I'm gonna give the color to hash 3C67E3. Under that, from border radius, we're gonna give it to 6 pixel. I wanna turn on the hover effect, so from here turn it on hover. Let's keep everything same like border type to solid, width to 2 pixel. And color, I wanna make it to transparent, so turn this bottom bar to very left. Alright, now if we minimize the bar, we can see the borders, but when we hover over on it, you see it disappears. Alright, now open the bar. So inside this inner section, I wanna add some elements. So click on this plus icon. Then from here, drag this heading widget here. I wanna make it to card 1. Let's type card 1. Let's make the alignment to centered and give it a color. From here, text color. I'm gonna give it a bit of off-white color. After that, go to Rubik's Cube icon. Drag this text editor underneath the heading widget. Now let's make the alignment to centered and then color to off-white color. After that, go to the Rubik's Cube icon. Drag this button widget underneath paragraph. We're gonna make it centered again. After that, go to style tab. We're gonna take the color to transparent. So drag the bar to very left. Then border type to solid. Let's make the width to 1 pixel and border radius to 30 pixel. So we're done with the layout. Now we will be adding magic card effect. First select the inner section, then go to advanced tab. From here, open the custom CSS field. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I'll put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through the affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but we will get a little commission for that. That will help us to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Now we will be adding some custom CSS code here, or we can simply just go to jimfahaddigital.com. I'll put the pages link in the description. Now from here, under the magic card effect CSS, we need to copy this whole snippet. Let's copy it. Then go back to Elementor. Now paste it here. Alright. So now if we minimize the bar and hover on the card, you see the hover effect doesn't work. Why is that? So now we need to do one thing here. So open the bar. Let's now select the main section. You have to make sure you have selected the main section, not in a section. So select the main section, then go to advanced tab. From here, Z index, I'm gonna give it 1. Let's now minimize it and have a look. If we hover over on it, we can see the beautiful magic card effect. Awesome! So now if you wanna change the border colors with your own colors to do it, now let's open the tab from left, then select the inner section from under its advanced tab, 
open the custom CSS field. We can see here first color, second color and third color. Now you can change the colors with your own colors like here first color I'm selecting red. For example, the second color to green and third color to blue. Now if you minimize the bar and hover on it, you can see the mixed border color of red, green and blue. In this way, you can pick any colors of you want. But I wanna go back to the previous colors. Okay, so we can duplicate the cars very easily. Here I'm duplicating the outer column. Let's now duplicate it again. And let's delete the empty column from left and also from right. Alright, then you can change the text to car 2 and this one to car 3. Now we're almost done, let's have a look how it's looking on tablet device and mobile device. To check it, click on responsive mode icon, first go to tablet. It's looking great on tablet device. Now have a look on mobile device, it's looking awesome. So we don't need to do anything with the responsiveness. Now let's close the responsive bar from top. So initially, we can see the borders, but when we hover over on it, we can see the magic card effect. Now let's say if you wanna keep the effect without hovering, how to do that? To do it, select the inner section, go to advanced tab, then go to custom CSS field. Now we will be removing the hover pseudocode from four places. First from here, secondly from here, then from here, and lastly from here. If we now minimize it, you see, we can see the magic card effect without hovering. Now if you wanna do the same thing with the other cards, you can do the same process with this. I mean, with their custom CSS, you just need to remove their hover pseudocodes. Alright, when you're done, don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever we will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also, if you want us to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact us through our website, that's jimfahaddigital.com. We will try our best to help you. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.